Welcome to Hip Hop School. And today we'll be focusing on the work of Faro Monch with his hit single, Simon Says. Queens is in the back, sipping yak, y'all, what's up? I see. Queens is in the back, sipping yak, y'all, what's up? Well, obviously this is to do with royalty. Simple, simple, simple. Uh, I thought we'd agreed. Faro Monch, or Monch, was hugely influenced by three classic artists. Hip-hop artists. Stop interrupting. Dali, Warhol and Hearst, the mighty trio. You've lost me. Simple, simple sim. Stop that! It was his life's dream to create a work of art that encompassed all three disciplines. Surrealism, East Coast pop art and dissected animals. It's the Holy Grail. The result was a life piece created around his own car, a 1986 Datsun Cherry, in which he'd built a, frankly, poorly constructed model of the New York borough of Queens, populated by a yak enjoying a cocktail. A yak? Half, to be precise, preserved in formaldehyde. So what he's actually saying, Professor Hal, is a major district of one of New York's most populated boroughs is inside the back seat of his Datsun, where a long-haired bovine from the Himalayan region is having a drink. Queens is in the back, sipping yak. Y'all, what's up? It seems obvious now. You sold platinum round the world, I sold wood in the hood. You sold platinum round the world, I sold wood in the hood. Monch grew up in one of the roughest neighbourhoods a child could imagine. Compton? Marlow Bottom, in leafy South Buckinghamshire, where he went to middle school with a young, bouffanted, slightly effeminate boy called Nicky Clark. The world-famous hairdresser and infamous stylist to Princess Diana? The very same. A nasty schoolyard spat over the length of time in which to leave in conditioner was left simmering and unresolved into their adult life. Nicky escalated the row by continuing to claim that his blonde locks were natural when Monch had witnessed him surreptitiously using sun-in in the warm summer of 1984, when Nicky Clark's own platinum blonde hair dye was launched on the global market it was the final straw for Monch. What was his reaction? He instantly took up carpentry. Hmm. It was his one passion at school that had been beaten out of him by a ruthless Nicky, who mocked his fat fingers and inability with a chisel. How did it go? He attended several local craft fairs, displaying the product of his toil, a poorly manufactured mug tree, and what onlookers could only guess was a spice rack. So what he's actually saying is... You're a liar, Nicky Clark, who sells hair dye. Look at my spice rack. You sold platinum round the world. I sold wood in the hood. Well, once again, Professor Hal, you have revealed the hard rhyming truth from within a massive muddled hip hop word search. In my next lecture, I'll be focusing on the work of Eminem's spin off group, who, obsessed with battleships, would always place their aircraft carrier four columns in and a dozen rows up. A grid reference which spawned their band name. That's my lecture on C13 next week. <laughs>